We all know there are some odd things about living in the UK. Things that annoy us, things that don't make sense, that don't seem fair. Things that could have been organised a whole lot better. Our railways are in desperate need of updating. We all know that. We need them to move goods around, to get to work, to get the economy going. But our European taxes keep going to build railways elsewhere. Anywhere, in fact, but here, where we need them, where England needs them. We all love the NHS. Yes, it can drive us mad at times, but it's one of the great things about living in the UK. Free healthcare for all. That's the theory. But it's not true. Because the Scottish Parliament has decided to spend more on healthcare, if you live in Scotland, you'll get free drugs which could save your life. But if you live in England, you'll have to pay for them. The Welsh Assembly has passed a law so that nobody in Wales pays prescription charges. And they're planning the same in Scotland. In England, we have to pay for our prescriptions. But because there's no separate English Parliament, we can't vote against prescription charges even if we'd like to. This means that we're stuck paying for something that everyone else in the UK will soon get for free. Which, when you think about it, isn't just unfair, it's sickeningly unfair. It's a difficult subject, immigration, especially in England where we've always welcomed people, accepted them, valued their skills. And it would be a tragedy if that very English sense of fair play and looking after the underdog ever got lost. But it's about fair play, not free for all. And everybody accepts that there are some people who shouldn't be here at all. People who haven't played by the rules and the rules say they should leave. Because of the way the system works, something called the Barnett Formula, something passed by the UK Parliament, the Parliament for everyone in the UK, Scotland gets more spending per head than England does. Now, nobody could object to school children in Scotland being fed properly, but perhaps, just perhaps, it would be fair if English school kids got the same deal. It's another of those crazy things that happen because there's a Parliament for Scotland and assemblies for Northern Ireland and Wales, but no Parliament for England, nothing at all. And because there's no one to speak up for England, England gets a raw deal. Unlike almost every other country in the world, the English don't have a national day. A holiday when everyone who lives in England can celebrate what it means to live here. And it's not as though we have more holiday than everyone else. In fact, we have less. And it's not as though we don't have anything to celebrate. I reckon the English are every bit as proud of being English and of England as the French are of being French or the Italians are of being Italian. Why on earth are we so afraid to say so? and the British political establishment on the left and on the right just throw up their hands and say, that's the way it is, or you don't understand how complex it is. Well, in the English Democrats' party, we don't think it's that complicated, and we don't think it needs to be that way. And we think it's about time someone fixed it. And we can. Give us the chance, and we will. We need an English parliament and government for England now, so that every English citizen, of whatever creed, whatever religion, and whatever birthplace is properly represented, has their concerns listened to and their rights defended. Because the British establishment, Westminster and the British government fail to do so. And they fail every English citizen as a result. We, as the largest country in the United Kingdom, need our own parliament. Just as there's a Scottish parliament, a Welsh assembly and an assembly for Northern Ireland. Just like every other democracy in the world. A parliament of English MPs and an English government making decisions on English matters for the benefit of England. For without that English Parliament, and without that English government, without the changes that we propose, there can be no fairness in England. On the 4th of June, vote for England, and for the only party that will put England first. The English Democrats, putting England first. <laughs>